Hello and welcome to today's video. Here with another Minecraft tutorial showing you how to install the Technic pack for Minecraft 1.0.0. Now, if you don't know what the texture pack tex Technic pack is, it's a pack of mods for Minecraft that comes with a huge variety of all different kinds of mods. It's extremely popular and I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to install it. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, um you're going and a Mac computer, you're going to want to back up your uh, world saves and everything because uh, to install the Technic pack, it has to be on a clean version of the uh, Minecraft folder. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, if you're on a Windows computer, I believe you're going to hit the Windows key and R. That'll bring up the run screen and then type in percent sign app data, percent sign, hit enter, and I believe it should be uh, uh just find your .minecraft folder if you're on a Windows computer. Uh, if you're on a Mac computer, like I am, go ahead and go to Finder, and then click Go to Go, then click Go to Folder. Then you're going to want to type in slash users, s slash, your, whatever your username is. This will be in the description. Slash library, slash application support. There we go. Slash Minecraft. Hit enter, and here we go. It'll bring you to here. Now you're going to want to go into saves, your whichever world you want to back up. If you have multiple worlds, go ahead and hit, I believe if you're on a Windows computer, it's Control C, and then if you're on a Mac, just hit Command C to copy it, and paste it somewhere where you want to back it up. I'm going to be backing it up to my desktop. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to have to delete the entire Minecraft folder. So, we're going to go back, if you're on a Windows computer, just go back to the .minecraft folder and delete it. If you're on a Mac computer, go to go, go to folder, and at the end of this, which we just typed in, delete Minecraft, hit go, and then find Minecraft. Here it is, and delete it. Command delete on a Mac computer and the delete button on a Windows computer. Next, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to open up Minecraft again and re-download the Minecraft folder. So go ahead and open it up. You'll be prompted to type in your password again, which I will go ahead and do right now. Right here. And then just go ahead and click login. It'll automatically download all the, pa all the packages, the bin folder, the jar, everything. So you will be able to install the Technic Mod Pack. Now keep in mind that Technic Mod Pack adds a lot of different features to the actual Minecraft game. There are not many texture packs that will work with it. But I'll get into that later. So here we go. We have Minecraft already loaded up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to download the actual tech Technic Pack. So what we're going to want to do, go to this link right here. Um, here we are. Uh, go to technicpack.net. The link will be in the video description. Click on Technic 5.0.5 for 1.0. This will bring you to the download page for Minecraft 1.0.0. Go ahead and go down. Read this. Uh, definitely. Uh, you should read all this, this entire page. Uh, here are a list of mods. These are all the mods it comes with huge uh, mod pack and if you click on them it'll teach you how to use it so that's pretty interesting so you're gonna go ahead and head and click direct link that'll bring you to a download page and uh, it's 27 megabyte file should only take around 30 seconds so um, let me go ahead and go through this page if you're on a win oops if you're on a Windows computer then what you're gonna want to do is basically double uh, use the 7 zip uh, I believe the 7-zip uh, file, but if you're on a Mac computer, you're going to want to get the Unarchiver application uh, for the Mac. That can be found in the Mac application store. Go ahead and go to the App Store and type in the Unarchiver, right, like this. It's free. Don't worry. You don't have to buy anything, but uh, here we go. The Unarchiver. Go ahead and hit enter, and then you should be able to find it right here. Has extremely good ratings and uh, it's free, so you might as well go ahead and do that. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and close out of the App Store. Here we go. Um, we can next out of Safari now, and then here we here we go. We're gonna get a 7-zip file. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, obviously double-click it and extract it. If you're on a Mac computer, go ahead and right-click 
open with and the unarchiver. If it's not in that drop down menu, then what you're going to want to do is you want to right click, open with other, and then find the unarchiver in your applications folder. So, as I just said, right click unarchiver and open it with. Next, it'll pr if it'll probably prompt you to th do this. If it's if not, then it's just my setting. But go ahead and pick where you want the folder of the Technic Pack extracted. I'm just gonna extract it to my desktop, like this. Click extract. It should extract in no time. It'll make a new folder. So once that's done, almost done here. Here we go. Once that's done, we have a Technic underscore 5.0.5 folder um, go ahead and open that up and then here we go we have the configure folder um, not r really gonna have to be dealing with those the readme now dot PDF go ahead and double click it it'll open up preview uh, this will basically tell you uh, how to use all these I guess um, too many items does actually not work with a Technic mod pack, so go ahead and after you've installed the Technic mod pack, go ahead and check out uh, one of my videos. I'll put the video in the, the link in the video description. Uh, I've made a video on how to install too many items. So uh, go ahead and close out of that, and then here's an executable jar file right here. Uh, so go ahead and double click it if you're on a Windows computer or a Mac computer. Click open if it prompts you to if to open it, and then here we go. It'll say, uh, please read me before installing. You must p install over an untouched Minecraft.jr and clear out any existing mod directories in your Minecraft folder prior to installing. We are not responsible for any damage this causes, including but not limited to your PC and Minecraft installation and or saved games. Please read the documentation thoroughly before installing. Select next to install the Technic Pack automatically to your default Minecraft location or set or click set Minecraft target folder to manually select your Minecraft directory. So the default Minecraft directory is into your Minecraft.jr file. Uh, you shouldn't have to fiddle with the set target Minecraft folder too much. When you're at the screen, go ahead and click next. This will bring you to a, a little screen where you can select what you want what you want to install. The minimum install is actually installing nothing. The full install obviously is installing everything. Uh, and the full, yeah, the custom install is, uh, you get to pick what you want. So, you can go through, select, uh, whatever you want here. Um, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the full install that'll install everything. And then just go ahead and click next. Now it'll unpack the Minecraft IJR, go through the, uh, setup process and install everything. Shouldn't take too long to install, well, it might, depending on, uh, the specifications of your computer. Now when it's done, go ahead and click done and open up Minecraft. You're gonna need to open up Minecraft before you do any sort of, uh, reinstalling your worlds or anything. Go ahead and hit log in, uh, on Minecraft. And by the way, this, if you do have a cracked version of Minecraft and you either couldn't afford to pay for it or didn't want to. Uh, I believe if you're on the newest version of Minecraft, this will still work. So, go ahead and wait for it to load. It'll take a little bit longer on the first time you do it. Go ahead and hit single player, and obviously, we're going to have to reinstall worlds now. But it's very important that you open up Minecraft first to get all the mods working. So, now we're going to have to go back to our application support folder. And we can do that, obviously, by reversing this, doing the steps I just showed you before. Find Minecraft, and it should say 18 to 28 items. Here's 25 items. So we're going to want to find saves and then drag our world back into there. I've, I will say, if you have the Technic Pack installed onto your computer, then it does work for Minecraft servers as well. So go ahead and open a Minecraft right now. Uh... The game time, the loading time will be a little bit longer uh, with the Technic Pack, but the actual in-game experience is not uh, too too different. So, just wait a little bit. And then here we go. Go ahead. We're gonna have. If you notice the uh, options button, we have a lot of different options under the video settings. 
go to other and lots of different things. We also have a lot of different controls which you can't see unless, uh, what is it called? You put, um, you can't see it unless you put, uh, your GUI onto, uh, low. That. So go ahead and hit controls, and then here's all your different controls. By default, there will be some controls that are overriding each other, but um, just go ahead and fix that later. Um, your video settings, you're going to have different types of video settings. Uh, definitely an extremely good uh, mod pack. So, there you go. Uh, when we're done configuring the Minecraft, which is however you may like, go ahead and hit single player and then select your world and then click continue. Now, if as you might know, this does include single player commands, which I thought is extremely nice. Uh, e. Uh, you don't have too many items by default, but uh, um, you do have pretty much every other mod. My, one of my favorite features about this is that there is a radar in the top of your corner, the right-hand corner, shows you where um, any pretty much anything is. Uh, all your house is pretty much anything. So, also, um, if you do have mobs near you, you go to options and select your difficulty. Uh, they will pop up on the radar, and that's pretty nice. Another thing is you can go into the menu by clicking M. Um, to get rid of this, it'll open the first time you open Minecraft. Just hit Escape, and then hit M again. Actually, no, excuse me. This is one of the commands you're going to have to um, override. So, uh, definitely, all in all, great mod pack. Definitely recommend it. Doesn't slow down the game pretty much at all. It might if you have a uh, low spec machine but uh, my machine is pretty powerful and it runs just fine so thanks for watching uh again li all links are in the video description uh if you like the video make sure to subscribe to my channel uh follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus that's a b n e r c u s um follow me on twitter i mean yeah like my face on pa facebook page I think I'll put that link in the video description. Also, follow, also uh, check out the site, excuse me, uh, at techinform.us. Again, stay tuned for next video, and I thank you for watching.